All right, good morning, everybody. Um, came out here this morning to do a little work. Uh, things are going really well. Like I said, we're off to a slow start, but uh, we are cooking with grease out here now. So uh, I came out here this morning because I noticed I'm getting my first blooms on my squash and zucchini, but I don't have any pollinators yet. There's not a whole lot of bees in the area. They'll show up once the blooms start coming um, on a few other things, but if you notice around here, it's really green without a lot of flowers. So we don't have any pollinators because there's no reason for them to be here. Uh, there's no pollen to collect as of yet. And so what usually happens is these first few zucchini and squash, um, I'll lose them. If they're not pollinated, what happens is the plant will uh, drop them. Sometimes they just fall off or they'll get end rot or um, just don't develop. They just sort of shrivel up. So the way I'm going to prevent that is with this. Yeah, paper towel. Give me one second. Okay, with that paper towel, I made a little brush or a wand. Uh, you can use a Q-tip. I forgot to pick some up from the dollar store, so I don't have any. But what I'm gonna do is go to the female <clears throat> and the male plants, which, uh, which there is a difference. You can tell by the flower, and I'm going to pollinate them myself so that I don't lose any early squash and zucchini um, that's what usually happens. The beginning of the year comes around and uh, there's no pollinators and I will lose the first few uh, squash and zucchini. It was a pretty good bit one year until the pollinators showed up in earnest. So we're going to fix that. We're going to pollinate ourselves. I'm simply going to take this little small end here and I tore that paper towel to make sure I got some of those fibers that were loose to ensure that I grabbed pollen when I uh, when I do this. So I'm gonna get in close and try to show you. So let's come in right here. This is gonna be a male flower. All right, buddy. Let me go ahead and borrow some of that pollen you got there. I'm just gonna gently agitate that. As you can see, Got a lot of pollen. See that? Now, it's another male flower. We're gonna keep collecting. I mean, they are loaded. All right. And here's our first. No, oh, that's another male flower. See that? Just collecting. Another one. All right, we could have a problem here. And what I'm gonna show you here shortly is that some of these flowers, like this female flower right here, I know it's a female because it's already got a squash on it. And, uh, and it's, if you see, it's really holding on to that. Um, flower still so that it can be pollinated if that's not pollinated that little squash there is going to fall off and kind of rot same thing with the one beside it see that down there it's waiting to be pollinated
and bam. Let me get in here close. You can see we got a giant female flower. That's what I was talking about right there. So just dropping off a little bit of stuff from the guys to help her out. And so we got a lot of female flowers on this end. Yeah, right there. Yep, you see it. And so I have to come back out here um, because it's still early in the morning and uh, the sun has not caused the, all these flowers to open. But uh, we're having to do a little bit of mother nature work this morning. Oh gosh, look at that one. That's what you call a giant female flower. Look at that. That is amazing. I'm just going to drop off a little bit of action there for you. Let you do your thing. And right beside it is a male flower. So the bee would jump from the male to the female. We have some pollination. Because I don't have any bees, I don't have anybody to do this. So I'm gonna do it myself. I'll come back out here in about. That is a huge flower. Look how big that flower is. My fist can fit in that thing. That's a huge flower. Bigger than a glove. So, this shows you I got some healthy plants out here. Tomatoes are running. I'm weaving them all up through the fence so you don't need cages. All right, but that's the garden update this morning. So, uh, let me show you the peas. Peas are coming along. They're looking really good. Okra on the other side of those. Let me sort of zoom in for you. See the okra? A little okra coming up. Um, it's going to take off here because it's starting to warm up. And so I'm doing a little um, peppers here. You can see we're already getting some peppers. I pulled some yesterday. We're getting peppers. Uh, my first time trying eggplant. I don't know what that's going to do. Um, I don't know how to grow eggplant, but uh, we'll see. Then I'm doing a back to Eden conversion on the rest of the garden. If you don't understand what back to Eden is, then I'll do another video on that. But it's basically where you mulch the entire garden to keep from ever using uh, any type of chemical fertilizer to, con to uh, control weeds. I don't use chemicals anyway, so um, this is supposed to be one of the better ways to plant a garden. I know I got I get tired of pulling weeds, so uh, as you can see, that's what I was doing yesterday out here. So um, that's what I'm doing now. And I was out here all day yesterday, so um, I will finish that up today. I have a company that uh, is supposed to drop off a load of wood chips. That's going to go over the top of all of this. And is that a snake? No. Um, we will continue to go. Look at the butternut squash. That's looking really good. That should be flowering out here pretty soon too. But I got mounds of it. I got five mounds of that. So, um... Watermelons are going. It's starting to sort of run a little bit. Watermelon vine there. I got several of those throughout the garden. It's just coming along really good. Um, I was beat up and defeated and hurt when I had to redo this about a month ago. But hey, I'm not easily defeated. I don't give up so easy. Um, and so now we're back at it.
Talk to you soon. Have a good day. Be safe.